Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Underrail Expedition with me, Bring It Don. So someone had mentioned in the comments section that I missed some oddities in this area. Uh, after I complete the primary objective, I will make an effort to find those oddities. I mostly just want to find the mineral oil while I'm disguised as I am. Um, I'm not too worried about killing after that. I just want to see if I can make it through. You know, in this with this strategy. If I can't, well, so be it, because it's not my uh, my forte. Let's quick save. I'm gonna check out this room real quick. I have a couple ideas where an oddity might be located. Oh, there's that area with all the officers up the stairs, and then there was um, is that I think surveillance room in the really large area. Actually, you know what? Let's quick save. Can I do anything with this computer? Nope, they don't like me back here. Okay. Lesson learned. Right, so I had seven agility to climb over the fence. There is a guy there. I don't know if I can bluff my way past these guys or not, so I'm gonna play it. I'm just gonna play it safe and assume that I can't. Oh yeah, also, before I continue, I need to get rid of uh, this, this hopper steaks. Or hopper meat. Sorry. I'm going to wait for him to patrol back this way, and then I'm going to try to make a run for that and dip over here. Okay, so if I'm fast enough, I can avoid them. Okay. Even if they see me, they'll, they'll approach me. I can, uh... Still run away. Alright, so I see the guard all the way over there. I feel like most of these areas now require that persuasion check. There it is, lubricating oil. Oh, crap. They saw me stealing. Shoot. I almost had it. I think. I don't have anywhere to hide once I get over there, though. This guy patrols back before I get it, but I know it's on this shelf right here. I kind of check those other shelves as well, but we'll worry about that when, that, when the time comes. Crap, 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 crap. He's gonna approach me. Shoot. Uh, let's see if I can persuade. Cough harshly and make a carrying gesture. The soldier stands at attention and salutes you. Why can't I salute him back here? Am I not in my officer uniform? Pretty sure that I am. Yeah. Why can't I just salute him back? Why would they take that option away from me? I'm disguised as an officer. I feel like if I still had that, I'd be in the clear. Alright, cool, I made it. Alright, so this next segment is going to require me to do some, uh, a lot of reloading, so I apologize in advance if that's not your thing. I would normally edit it out, but on my current schedule I don't have time to edit my videos. I say that because there are a lot of, uh, new people here. I got, like, t almost 20 subscribers yesterday, uh, because a certain somebody did a certain review or did a review for this game specifically, and uh, its popularity has surged. I think it was actually top selling on Steam yesterday. Alright, so he's gonna be hostile. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. 
why did I take all of my... Let me reload that. I can do this without. There we go. I don't know why I took all of my action points there. That's weird. I'm gonna adrenaline shot. Alright, so he doesn't have any oddities on his body. I'll probably reload this. So I'll have a reason to kill him. Alright. And they're all hostile now. See, what I don't understand is, so when I killed the officer for this uniform, no one turned hostile. But now... Uh, if I kill anybody else in an isolated environment, everyone turns hostile. I'm not sure why that is. Alright, another quick save, just to be safe. Oh, there's an officer right there. If he walks away, I can shut this door and then probably get this ventilation shaft. Because if I try and get in it now, I think these guys will see me. So to avoid that whole situation, just uh... There we go. Again, just murdering everybody would definitely be the best approach. He didn't, watch, he didn't see me uh, just climb out of that? Alright. I'm fine with that. Right, more un another uniform. There's a ventilation shaft in there. Um, how do you access that? Well, there's this area over here that I can hack. Oh wait, no I can't. I'll have the... Uh, There's a ventilation shaft in here. Wow, 110. Did it go up? Because it was 90 last time, right? Okay. Uh, we've done this before, I don't think that we can... Uh, shrug? Alright, so he doesn't like me shrugging. There's a very high chance that we're going to have to kill everybody in here in order to find the stuff that I'm looking for. Um... Oh, there's an oddity. Oh, they didn't like it. They didn't like me taking it. Okay, I found it. I found it. I found another oddity. Okay, it's in that filing cabinet. So now through trial and error. All right. Yeah, he's gonna turn hostile because he can see me right there. That door needs to be shut. I don't know if I can shut it without that other officer approaching me. Oh, I got it, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, that's it. I'm uh... That's it, no more oddities. Well, let me see how many times I can study it. Because if I can study it more than once, then I'll go find another one. If I can't... Plus, I didn't get to read it, because I booked it out of there. Uh, where is it at? I, I don't even know what it was called. I think it was this. Kutura? The calligraphic, calligraphic inscription reads, Kuto Dagu Ne Ultme... Okay, I can't read that. I'm sorry. Uh, but you can only study it once, so you know what? I think I'm content. 
with that. I wouldn't mind seeing what weapons they have in here. Uh, there's no door here, so if I attack him... I can always escape through the trap door. Or try to, which takes me where? It takes me to the lunch lady. It's another exit, which I think is the ventilation shaft over there. So it's actually not going to do me any favors. Oh, let's just see what's in the weapon lockers. I don't have to necessarily... necessarily um, keep it. I can just reload. It's not a big deal. That's why he lets me come up right behind him. Oh, sorry, the security camera. Uh oh. Alright guys, I just want to see what's in the lockers. Y'all don't have to fight me. Just probably turn on my shield, just be safe. Bunch of ammunition that I don't use. Much more ammunition that I don't use. Honestly, this is a good place to hold off if I needed to. Alright, there is a unique weapon in here. Uh, RRCH-42. It's an old, well-worn 762 caliber submachine gun with a 50-round drum magazine. The gun stock is made from an unusual material whose chipped edges gives you a small insight into its fibrous composition. That's neat. I was wondering if they were going to have any unique weapons back here. That's why I checked. But you know what? I don't need it, so we're just gonna leave. So if you're looking for a unique weapon, there you go. It's right there. But we can get out of here in one piece, and that's what we're gonna do. So I feel like I found everything. Let's walk this way. No one's gonna confront me. Soldier stands at attention and salutes you. Something, something, intimidate. Yeah, we've already read all that. Salute him and leave. There we go. We'll go back and talk to the dude. Is this the right one? No, it's this one. All right. Do you find it, man? The mineral oil? I found this gun lubricant. I think it's supposed to be based on mineral oil, but I don't know what else is in there. All right, gimme, gimme, gimme. He takes a close look at the label. I like, don't understand a thing on this label. What the hell? Rotating the bottle around slowly, dude scrupulously examines it from all sides. I don't see any skulls or like, known hazard symbols. Having not been discouraged by the impenetrable lingual barrier, dude opens the bottle and takes a whiff of the unknown. His contracting nostrils do not seem to react well to the smell, however. What do they put in this thing, man? It. As he brings the oil nearer to his objecting nose, his pupils become more and more dilated. He glances at where the rift is supposed to be, and his smile confirms that it is still there. I see it, man. This is what we need. So smelling it is enough? No, man. With revulsion in his eyes, he pours just a little of the stuff straight into his throat, trying his best to spare his tongue. His lips turn inward, his eyelids slam shut, and his nostrils widen so much you can almost see all the way into his nasal cavity. Then he hands the bottle to you. Her drink, man. Just a little is all it takes. He coughs. Drink a little gun lube. By the way, gun lubricant tastes awful. Um, I never intentionally tried it. Time to leave, man. That's what he said. Uh, 
Never intentionally, you know, drank or ate any, but... If you're in that situation, just be wary, it does taste awful. Uh, tired and a bit sick to the stomach, you stand by the fire with Dude. The flames did not stop dancing in your absence. It is as though they were waiting for your return in order to lull you into the tranquility with their undulating warmth. However, the sound of gastroenteric insurrection coming from Dude's volatile bowels easily dispel your recuperative peace. Is the mineral oil at it again? His stomach growls like a dying beast. Yeah, man. I thought I got it all out after, like, the third time, but guess not. A long pause ensues, during which his intestinal unrest rages on and on. He breaks the silence not with wind, but with the words spoken in a quiet, somber voice. I've been thinking, man. What is it? You're not gonna die, dude. No, it's not that. In all that chaos, I haven't had the haven't had the time to figure out why I messed up so badly. I mean, up to the point where we started rift walking, everything was running smooth, like it should, like it always has. The vision always shows me the right way. And it has never, ever failed me, so long as I recognize what I saw in it and abided by it. So how did I, like, create such a disaster this time? Well, I thought about it, man, and now I think I know the reason. I did not, ex I did not respect the vision. What do you mean? I wasn't supposed to come with you, man. That's why it went all wrong. Or it all went wrong. Remember when I told you that I only saw images of you rift walking? The vision was a bit fuzzy, but that was clear. But what was clear was that I wasn't with you, man. I was so darn stupid, man. I've never done anything against the vision, but I always felt things were going to fall apart if I did. So I never, like, did it. I mean, never mind. And I felt as if we were rift. I felt it as we were rift walking, and I knew everything from that point onward was, like, uncharted territory. Anything could happen. But that brings me to another question. Why did I mess up the recipe? If it was you who was supposed to do all the rift walking, then how could I have done that step wrong? You need me to rift walk, right? I am I am the juice supplier. The juice dude, man. <laughs> then it hit me. I did everything right. The juice is okay. It is okay. It felt and seemed right because it was right. But there was another variable which I never, like, had the chance to test. Both of us went inside the rift at the same time, man. What if two people attract much more living air trying to kill them than what would that then what would each one of us individually attract? Man, that that was really hard to read. Sorry. Man. Uh, what if our minds are interacting with each other in some unknown way when we're there? Maybe the attunement gets messed up. Or maybe it's something else entirely. The point is, the effect wore off much quicker because we were together in the in-between. That's why all these problems occurred. So in the end, the rest of our journey, according to your vision, was in fact my journey and mine alone. Seems so, man. You and I are done, unless I get another vision. The two of you instinctively pause in anticipation of the aforementioned. <laughs> Nothing happens. But when I say done, I didn't mean like, completely done, like totally. I could still make juice for you, and we can like, talk and do stuff. By done, I mean done with traveling around and collecting stuff for me. Except juice ingredients. Darn it, we're not done at all. I don't mind it, dude. If nothing else, we've got a reason to hang out, have a brew together, or ten. He laughs. Well, yeah, that sounds okay to me, too. Uh, can you make me some juice? Sure, man. I'll need two brews, one measure of unsaturated cyanic catalyst, uh, one of morphine, and one of geometrin. Remember, the extra brew is for me. Those ingredients are the same ones that can be extracted from mine shrooms, lake poppies and red dream mushrooms, respectively. Right? You know it, man. Still, can you extract some of those for me? Hmm. Oh, alright. Bring it over and I'll extract the chemicals for you. Make sure to bring me, like, ampules as well, because I don't have any to spare, man. Alright, uh, well, here's for one juice, given the ingredients. You wait for dude to make the juice. Here you go, man. The juice. Alright, well, that's all I need for now. Can I have the juice recipe? Oh, cheers and happy rift walking. Like, why? Why do you need it? Uh, so I can make my own. But I can make it for you. I can't always come here when I need the juice. Are you aware how far away this place is from the world? Yeah, man. But you can use the rifts to get here. Yeah. Just pop the juice and you're good to rift walk. What if it's an emergency and I'm out of juice? Well, plan ahead. How, how do you do anything in this world if you don't plan ahead? Are you worried I'm not going to bring you brew anymore if, if you give me the recipe? No, man. It's not that. You know, like, it's not about the brew, man. 
and, and, and here's the darn recipe. He gives you the juice recipe. Here. There has to be a better way to get these juice ingredients. It's far too time consuming. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go pick them, man. I had too much to, too much work to be doing something as dull as, and mundane as going about and like, picking mushrooms. And how can you expect me to do it? It's your destiny, man. How about I find someone who could supply you with the necessary ingredients? And you just buy it off me? That could work, man. Got anyone in mind? Can't think of anyone at the moment. Whoever you find, just tell them I'll take care of collecting the supplies, man. Don't you worry. And you know what? I even take care of the brew while I'm at it. You just let me know once you've struck a deal and I'll and I'll do the rest. Cool? Cool. Cool, man. Takes a sip of his brew. Oh, I'll talk to you later, dude. And I'm in the middle of my cow trops. So does this rift take me back to the Grey Army base? Can I go back there and... Oh, you can go back! Okay, I was fretting for nothing. I can always head back. That's probably what I'll save this juice for. Alright, well right now my priority is getting back to... Civilization, so I can drop off some of this stuff. We got a lot of weight. Alright, what's the best way to get back? We are here. If I go down, down. I think this is the one that I want to take. Yeah, that takes me right to the station. Okay. So, two south and then west. Okay. Should probably prepare it a little more for this. That's fine. it missed. Okay. And I'm burning. Sorry, I'm not immune to burning anymore. That sucks. my spear at. It should be underneath him. I have a hard time grabbing my spear out from underneath these darn Goliathuses. Goliathi. There it is. Works for me, man. Alright. So then all I gotta do is grab my spear. Which hope is my spear, not the remains. Son of a gun. So maybe do it. There it is. It's a little annoying. Did not want that. Man, that darn carapace. It's okay. It's 
it's not okay. We're not okay. Yeah, we're not okay. We're dead. Oh, man. Oh, wait, nope. I want to load. There we go. It's fine. Go ahead, all of them. Let's well, take out this guy. Then yell at everybody. I am dazed, but I should be able to take this guy out anyway. Bam. I really hate hypothermia. So I don't actually have... Okay, I'm an adrenaline shot here. So I'll take this guy out. And then, can I reach him? Nope. Well, I'll move towards him. And then from here on out, I can just throw a spear at him and chase him down. Come on, give me my spear. Oh, there it is. All right. Ah, no. I figured that'd be too much. I really think it's only going to take one more <clears throat> spear throw to kill this guy. Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, didn't have my weapon equipped. It's alright. He's dead. Alright. Man. Let's go down and get back to the Grey Army base. I had no idea I could do that. So, when I'm stronger, I'll just go back there and kill everybody. I don't think I have the means to do it right now. And there's actually a really easy way to get back to, uh, See. It's a really easy way to get back to the dude's place. That's a drop down right there. Seems like a lot of the things, the ingredients are around, like Lake Poppy. Uh, this is where the red dream mushroom is at. Don't remember what the other thing was that I needed. Uh, this is Rat Hounds. I'm gonna quick save anyway. Because there are random encounters in the game. So if I want to go back and get that unique weapon, I know how to do it. Oh, I didn't go south far enough. I need to go south here. So I'd say in like a level or two, I'll head back to um, mm 
the Great Army Base. See about take, uh, looking for more oddities or killing whoever. West. Uh, in the next episode, I guess we'll continue exploring uh, the, the lower under rail. Nope, you leave me alone, crawler. I'm not going to stay and fight you. Oh, son of a gun. It's down on that side. Son of a... I think there's only siphoners in this area, though, so that's not too bad. About to go through the stupid psi beetles up here. Just to save me some time, I'm probably gonna use these. Because I don't instantly kill all the smaller psi beetles. If their heads are open. Right now they are. Yeah. At least he missed. So that would have been awful. Alright, I need to grab my spears. Come on. Other spear is around here somewhere. Sixty-nine percent chance. Okay. Well. So he should be away this turn. My grenade will be off cooldown, and I should be able to kill them both. But no, maybe not with the days. Close though. Alright, nothing to it. Now which way... Back south. I'm not gonna bother uh, healing up anymore. Am I? This is no, I'm supposed to be in there. This is just a dead end. Have I ever been here before? I don't recognize this place. Alright, this is the way up. Alright, we're gonna call the episode here. Uh, in the next one. Off camera, I'm gonna go back to SGS, drop off my stuff, uh, deal with. I'm gonna try and craft if I can. And then the next one, what we'll do is we'll start exploring. We'll go into this center area here, since we've kind of circled all the way around it, and uh, see what we, what sort of trouble we can get into. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.